Hey, it's Pam. It is Hoya watering day. So I figured we could play a little game called how well does Pam actually know what plant she has? So this should be fun. So let's meet my Hoyas, huh? All my Hoyas are kind of taking off lately. It's just that time of year. They're just that age. Uh, they're getting better light than they really ever had, have had before. And they are showing me they're happy and everybody's growing. Uh, Hoya's roots generally are pretty darn small and so it takes them a really long time to fill a pot. So I don't generally need to repot Hoya's very often. So at this point, I'm just going through everybody, giving them a little check, giving them a little uh, bug granules uh, because a couple of them keep doing that thing where I see one mealy bug and then never see another one and then another one shows up like two months later and makes me crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and just give everybody a little bit more systemic right now yeah I'm gonna give everybody a good check I'm gonna make sure that nobody needs to be repot uh, give everybody water I think everybody needs it and um Let's see if I know what plants I have. I'll be checking myself, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I think it is right now, and then we will be checking myself. And um, I go see how many I get right. Because I don't know, they're all, they all look the same. And that's why I don't get all the crazy ones that are like something Elon Musk would name his child. I'm not doing it, I'm, no, it's too hard, it's too much. Anyway, Hoyas went in This is Indy, by the way. Ow. Hoya vines. This is not a, I, this is a runner. However, this is a runner, it's gonna fill in eventually. This is not like a phyllo runner or um, even a pothos runner or something like that, that leaves, you know, have fallen off and they're not gonna grow back and you've just got a big bear, you know, but you've got a big, bare patch of a bare patch of vine uh no that's not the case with Hoyas so if you see this don't cut it leave it the hell alone okay might not grow leaves and it might not grow them for a very long time but uh don't cut it off you will be sorry that you did anyway listen to how crunchy it is that thing's dry they like to dry out it is an incredibly chunky barky big perlite soil. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and soak it with some rainwater and then move on because it's looking good otherwise. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with the bottom row. Uh, we already have the, the Shida, that thing, which is not a Hoya, but still lives in the Hoya hut. Next, we have the Wayeti. Just the plain, not the tricolor. I actually prefer this one. I really, it's a fun one. Okay. Uh, Hoyas are pet safe, by the way, uh, and that's, um, you can, you can see that. So I kind of keep them <laughs> a little bit out of, out of reach because while they can 
can, I would prefer they not. Okay, now we have my very sad um, and deformed um, Hoya Carry here. Carry I, whatever. Um, I don't, I don't know why it does this. Okay, this is my um, Compacta. That's what it's called. Compacta. Uh, otherwise known as the Hindu rope, which, and see if, see what the connotation behind that one is, because, you know, you know. But it's the way of Compacta, regardless. And it is finally starting to grow after years. I've had this at least like three years, at least done nothing. Okay, we have, um, this is the Silver Splash. K-R-I, Crenny, Crenier, something, something, Silver Splash. Uh, and it came a hot mess and I lost most of it in shipping. Uh, and I stuck it in water to try and save it. It got a couple of, got a couple of roots, stuck it in here, and I have almost lost it a whole bunch of times. I just finally let it get really, really dry, and then I soak it. I wasn't soaking it in between. I think it wasn't actually getting enough water. Uh, and now that I've started doing that, it's in an almost entirely, like, uh, husk, like cocoa husk and perlites and stuff in there. Uh, anyway, so I really needed to soak that and let it soak in, and I wasn't doing that, I think. But anyway, now that I have been, the leaves are nice and firm again, and the silver is starting to come in again, and I think I'm going to end up liking this one after all. Um, it just kind of sits. It sits with the strings over there with the carry eye, which also was one that did absolutely nothing for a very long time. And now is setting, suddenly starting to go a little bit nuts. Um, I use these to hold roots down in place to help them root in more places. Um, and it also can kind of tame them when I'm trying to get roots, you know, when I'm trying to get vines to go a certain direction. Uh, anyway, I, If you're interested, let me know. I have a whole bunch. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. I like this one. Okay, you want to go in. Let's move up to the next level of the Hoya hat, shall we? with fake appendages or joints or something and I'm I can't do that sometimes. <laughs> to clean up my mess. Am I eating candy with my hands while I'm messing with dirt? Yes I am. Yes I am. And my immune system is very fine. Thank you very much. Alright, here we go. We have the Hoya Obata, which um, is sometimes Obata and sometimes whatever this shape is. But usually it's a nice Obata shape. But it's a very heavy, heavy vine. <laughs> This is a crimson, with a K, uh, princess. Crimson princess has the green around the edge with the white in the center. <laughs> the crimson queen Am I doing this backwards? 
Yes, I am. This is also... Oh, damn. Oh, that's funny. I just have one of these in here. Anyway, here comes in Princess. Crimson Princess. I'll set you right there. This is the Australis Lisa. Or Chelsea, and I don't know which is which, so. God damn. This is the um, Retusa. This is the Publicalix, Publicalix Splash. I love this one. This is my favorite. Like, variegation doesn't really, like, get me like it gets some people i like a good splash though this is also a pubicalyx of some sort a green one and we have andy here who is an australis I do love. I do love my Andy. He's a very easy grower beyond the fact that he, you know, whips everybody, including the clock around. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock him, lock him in place there. See if I can kind of move him up to the next hook. Here. Okay, we'll move them up and up there. That's the current plan. And we have the Crimson Queen. The white's on the edges. It's her crown, I was told. Uh, she's got a lot of half moons coming though. It's pretty fun. Her eyes, very white. I'm interested to see how she will turn up. I love how they come in so pink like that and then they just. Keep on going. And this, oh my gosh. And this is a Hoya Sunrise, which um, is not currently rising anywhere. Uh, so I need to sun, sun stress it. So I need to move it a little bit. I don't know, somewhere closer to a lamp. I'm currently figuring this one out. Um, but it's happy. It's just plain. You're fine. Be whatever. The Hoyas are home for now. Uh, I am going to work on the back corner next. Uh, but as usual, I have nothing but good things to say about Hoyas and recommend them to basically anyone. Uh, if you can give it, you know, at least some medium light, um, they're generally happy. Bright's always going to be better. This is the situation in here. My room is pretty bright because I've got a lot of, a lot of lights going. <sighs> but that's it. I just water them and they get very dry. Summer it's about once a week. Winter it's every, you know, two or three weeks. Other than that. Just love them and buy whatever ones you want, even if they have stupid names. Don't listen to me. I'll see you guys.